In one month's time, I went from 125 pounds down to 89 pounds. And then the final thing was the skin that was peeling off of my hands. And that's when uh, we finally decided that something else was going on and I needed to go to a doctor. So they scheduled me with a specialist the next day and they did extensive blood work, cultures, um, and biopsies. And then they gave me a call and said, well, you have lupus. And I was like, okay, let's just give me the medicine, give me a prescription and I'll be on my way. And they said, well, it's not that easy. When you dig and dig and dig and there's no FDA approved medications for over 50 years and you're being treated for lupus, but with some of these medicines that are for other diseases, you really start wondering what is going on here. And I started um, looking for any kind of help on the internet that I could get. And I came across the LFA, the Lupus Foundation of America. And that was the best thing that I could have done. They have been part of, a huge part of my support system with giving me suggestions, um, helping me find doctors, helping me find drug studies, uh, anything, any kind of help, and then even going up to Capitol Hill and speaking to the senators and representatives. That was the best thing for me, was putting me on the spot and asking me to tell my story. With the LFA showing me a different direction that you can make this negative thing in your life become a positive, it makes me feel good just to have a voice and to share my story. It's hard the first time, the first time I did it. I had just been diagnosed nine months prior with lupus and I had never told anyone about it. And I came up here to Washington and shared my story and I cried the whole way through it, but it was the best thing I ever did.